Welcome back to Competitive Edge HQ and what's in my kit. Last week we spoke about the X-Frame hybrid knee braces and this week we're going to speak about the Liat GPX 5.5 Flex Lock motocross boot. Okay, so the Liat 5.5 GPX Flex Lock boot was released to the market in 2020 and we were lucky enough to be one of the first people in the country to try this boot. From the first time I put it on, I was really impressed with the quality and make of this boot. Uh, for a first time attempt at putting, releasing a boot to the market, um, it, was a, it was a high quality product with great support and great feel and fit. Over the years, uh, at my age, I've worn a lot of different boots, uh, but as soon as I put this boot on my foot, I was super happy with the comfort. And as you can imagine with our coaching days, we spend long days on our feet out helping the kids in the paddock and in the track, and these were super comfortable to have on my feet all day, no blisters, no pain, as well as providing high-end protection and super support around my ankles. Okay, some of the features that I love about this boot. Let's start at the toe box. It's nice and broad and nice and wide. So if you've got a white foot, it's really comfortable. doesn't squeeze your foot and make it uncomfortable through the day. But it's not that big that it's excessive and bulky. The other thing I love about this toe box is the fact that it's got a low profile compared to a lot of boots that I've worn previously. It makes it really easy for gear changes. One of the other features that I love about this boot are these alloy cam lock buckles. Strong, sturdy, easy to do up, and hold the boot nice and secure in place, making it comfortable all day, and I don't have to worry about my buckles coming undone. What I do like to use is a little bit of Silkeline Silker Pen. After a wet day or after I wash the boot, inside the hinges just to make sure that they keep moving freely and are easy to close. Another feature I love about this boot is the ankle support. They come with a multitude of different sizes and ankle support uh, ranges. You take the red plug that you can see in there out and change it for a bigger or a smaller one and it provides more or less support depending on your comfort level or what your needs are of the boot. Another great option about this boot is this at the back and this is my favourite feature. The ankle support in the back here. These days with different demographics, particularly faster riders and more professional riders, we're teaching these guys to ride on the ball's left feet to provide more movement and more, more leverage. This boot here provides great ankle support both left and right, but also when riding on the balls of your feet by offering this brace down the back here to stop your hyper extending your ankle inside the boot. Okay, from there, all the stuff you'd expect from a high end premium boot. We have hard density plastic on the front for protection of your shins, and we have incredible grip and hard protection plastic on the inside to grip your bike. This plastic inside is a little softer than the hard plastic on the front. It's more rubbery and really helps you grab the frame with your with your feet and help you hang onto the bike. Other features I love about this boot is the slide lock cuff. It's got a velcro that slides only one direction and won't come back the other way unless you pull it apart. Okay, it slides, once it's gripped together, it won't slide forward, keeping the boot secure. The other thing I love about these boots is they look sick.